magic words. Words and phrases that cause miracles and superhuman feats of amazement to happen right in front of your eyes. Words like abracadabra, open sesame, shazam! Turning a boy into an adult and no one else thinks that's just plain weird? Black Adam once lost his power and had to figure out new magic words to change back into Black Adam or The Rock. And those words were chocolate egg tart. Or you got Chris Angel going like... Mind freak. Are you ready? But the real magical words of the universe are not Elohim. No, what do you do is you stand in the middle of your room, both feet planted on the floor, and with your index finger you point like Wakana and you draw a W, and then you go Wakana! Louder! Wakana! Wake up your neighbors and go Wakana! And this will summon the greatest force of magic in the history of all things magic and such, Wakana Odihara. She who is just living to achieve a dream. Who's ready for story time with Meerkat? 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 Meerkat though. Meerkats are social AF. At dawn, meerkats need to soak up the warmth of the rising sun. Okay. Wakana Odihara wants the world to know her name. She wants to be a star, a major entertainer. She got her start as an idol in Advance Arc Harmony with dreams of being an actress and an idol. Despite not being featured as much, plenty of Wakana footage exists of her time, like... And like this running all like... And some performances as well. Here's her all the way to the right. Even some quality photography in this music video here. She eventually graduated from the group, but that didn't stop her perseverance from making it big. She is similar to Maki Ito in this fashion. Just pure drive and ambition, fueling them to achieve their dreams. Since then, she has been running a YouTube where she eats and live streams still to this day. Look at her playing Last of Us, playing as Joel, going all like... Even doing covers of songs and having fun like And doing general wholesome stuff like She finally found her opportunity to pursue a dream to be a professional wrestler. She entered a competition of TJPW's YouTube channel and showed how much she loves to eat. Oh, look how much she loves to eat. Oh, that food. Oh, seriously. Where is that food going? Oh my god, she's Goku! And also kickboxing! Wow! Wakana's demeanor seems quiet. She doesn't seem like someone who will yell and scream and show tons of passion. You know, like me. Yet, yeah, her personality shine through the competition, leading to her winning to be trained as a pro wrestler under TJPW, debuting against the big Kaiju Shoko Nakajima, where she showed fire and a good drop kick. This girl is ready. You can tell she works hard and puts a lot of thought into her art. She debuted with a ready-made theme song that she sings herself and in ring gear. And it's great in ring gear. I love it. She had a killer drop kick from the beginning and her in ring work is rapidly improving. Already, she has transitioned her body from her old idol self into a more fit, muscular tone and strong self. I feel like more praise needs to be thrown her way for such a transformation. In my opinion, she moves in the ring beyond the norms of a rookie with only 56 matches in her one year career and only 16 singles matches with four wins over Himarari and Toga respectively. Her early arcs were about scoring her first win and providing great performances against wrestlers like Rika Tatsume, Yuka Kamafuku, Hikari, Noah, Mizuki, and recently faced living cultural icon and legend Aja Kong, which we'll get to in a moment. In the ring, Wakana is limited by first 
here moves and hasn't quite gained the experience points to level up her skill tree, but she hits a great drop kick. Shows lots of aggression, lots of fire, lots of passion, utilizes a killer sleeper and a snap suplex. She gives it her all in her performances and it comes across to me. Because of her entertainment background, Wakana knows how to act. The way she takes moves is killer, throwing herself into the cell, making it as believable as possible. She wears exhaustion beautifully on her visage, and her faces are very, very good. She carries authenticity with her. You want to root for her, and she's incredibly easy to root for. Just watching her point like this, and you're all like, what the her biggest win thus far was against Himerari in the finals of TJPW's rookie tournament. Himerari herself from Actress Girls was Wakana's first victory with a sleeper hold and she wants to prove she has grown stronger than before. The match was a good showcase of the rookies and they utilized their entire moveset available to them. But Wakana's fire was stronger, she wanted more and wanted to stop trying for that sleeper. Looking like she's literally giving it all to wrench all the air from Himerari. It's like life or death for her, but it took a little extra oomph this time to finally cause the tap out victory. I love that she uses that as a finish because it shows just how much she wants to succeed, using all of her strength to find a victory. Wakana then won a medal because she's Kurt Angle. Nah, she better than Kurt Angle, brother. She Wakana! Wakana, whose inspirations are Ricochet and Will Ospreay, who wants to be athletic and constantly improve, is personally, in my opinion, a future star and someone who I genuinely want to see succeed. I want to see Wakana happy and for all of her hard work to pay off. And thus far, she was granted a big opportunity to face Aja Kong in a singles match. As Aki and the commentators said, just being in the ring against Aja Kong in a singles match is a victory in itself. During the reality competition, Aja Kong was a guest trainer and had a lot of harsh words for Wakana. This is Wakana's chance to prove herself to Aja Kong, and she brought it to Kong immediately with a space whatever thingy. Her high agility dodging Aja and delivering a big drop kick, but Aja is a tank build with infinite poise. Makes dealing damage that much more difficult, but Wakana finds a way and applies pressure with that sleeper, latching on like a rapid animal. But Aja is far too strong, far too vicious. Wakana counters and does her best to put Aja to sleep and manages to almost get the legend. Aja has to actually reach out to escape. Wow, she almost traps Aja in a flash bin too, but doesn't get it yet and has this face of determination. Until Aja slaps her. We're doing this one more time. Oh my Raku! Just one more. Oh my son of a mother of God! Wakana has this face of. But that's probably from actually getting slapped. But Wakana back to the sleeper on her tippy toes and latches it on tight again. But Aja does the Princess Bride onto the giant thing all like. Why should that make such a. Difference. The wail from Wakana before Aja crushes her like a pancake. Ooh. From here, it's trivial as Aja is done with Wakana and kills her. But no, Wakana alive. Wakana with the support of the crowd, the face of determination. Wakana forever, damn it, earning Aja's respect by eating a backdrop driver. Nothing she can do there, but as Aki says, just getting Aja to use the backdrop driver is a Enough of a victory in itself. Wakana pushed Aja further than expected, and the post game expressions of Wakana show me that she is very good at the aspects I like about wrestling. She can express the story through her facial expressions. It goes a long way for me, and. Wakana's career is only beginning, and the beautiful thing about professional wrestling is you can watch someone start their career and grow and grow until they become a champion. It's the only form of art that can do this in a visual medium, more so than TV and anime, and Wakana has all the tools to really be a star, just like she wants to achieve in life to fulfill her dream and become her.
She's got growing abilities and is constantly getting better. She hits her moves well with impact and her performances in the ring, her expressions, her subtleties, her entire aura and positive attitude. She's a sweet woman with high ambitions that is so respectable and something I can absolutely get behind. I admire Wakana Urihara. It's inspiring. The 27-year-old entertainer, actress, kickboxing Kirby with a never-ending stomach with aspirations to be a star. For people to know her name and for people to love her. This is Wakana Urihara. Wakana forever. Say the magic words again. Wakana! So thank you to all my Patreon sponsors. We have, of course, Jeff, The Up Channel, Geeky Noah's Dad, Anthony Ali Nice Tease, Renee Valdez, Ace of Trace, Maddox, Justin Stein, Matthew Pilatruska, No Jeff, Food, Terrence, Dan, Work, Kev, Mullen, Adam K, Ray, Connor Shiggy, Buddy Money 520, Funk Wicks Videos, Juggernaut Graphics, Shut Up Ingo Dot Wave, Aaron, Zacharias 4, 5, 2, 2, 2, 2, I Want Victims, JLA, Julia, Sunglasses, Chiwa, Paul, Darren, Pickle Simon, Scott Racer, Steven Siemens, Coppertory D, Smoon, Little Chuck. Choo, Choo, Tony Davis and Jesse the Outlaw. Thank y'all. 